Hello Aries, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a love reading for Aries from the 3rd to the 16th of December 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I've put my email and my website details in the description box, so please contact me. I put the decks that I'm using in the description box as well and links to Amazon and eBay so you can buy these decks. And please don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series, you'll find that interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I am doing a general tarot read for you after that. So the first card you've got here is um, a country house. Maybe you're thinking of buying a, uh, a house in the country or maybe you, go, you have a house in the country and you're going off there to visit for this particular holiday period. But you're definitely not staying at home. It seems like you're, you're taking a little break. Maybe you're taking a break to the countryside and you're going to um, you know, go and visit maybe family or friends in the country as well. So the main uh, card is that you've got a sincere friend that maybe you're going to go and visit the sincere friend who lives in the countryside and you're going to go and visit them for this particular holiday season. So you've got the sincere friend coming on. And uh, there might be some delays that are going on around you. Uh, things are not working out quite uh, to plan. Um, so, uh, you know, just watch out that there might be some hurdles that you have to cross. So in the past, you've got impediments. So there's been some obstacles that you've had to overcome. And you have achieved success, though. So a lot of obstacles being needing to be overcome, but you have achieved success. And going to the future, there looks like there's a widow that you're dealing with. This person that's a sincere friend might be a widow, and you uh, might be going to go and see her, because both cards surround this country home. And you've got a visit. So it looks like you are going to go and visit this friend that lives in the country. She might be a widow or a single woman, and uh, you're going to go and visit her. You also could be getting some visitors coming to visit you. So that could well be the case. This is the holiday season and people, families do tend to come to, to visit during this particular period. So you've got family and friends coming to visit or you could be going and visiting somebody. So those are the energies for that, uh, those two weeks. So I have shuffled this deck and I'm going to just draw some cards from it. Okay, so you've got the Seven of Swords over here. So it looks like whatever situation you've been dealing with, a lot of truth is coming to light. You've got the Seven of Swords talking about any kind of deception, uh, but that is now coming to light. So whatever you thought was going on is really not, was, uh, you know, all a delusion or an illusion, and now things are coming to light. He's got the sword uh, laid out in front of him, and everything that has going to be revealed, secrets are being revealed. So you're going to, through that phase at this particular moment where things that happened are now beginning to start, are starting to make sense to you. You've got the death card that you're dealing with, so you're cutting out the past and you're moving forward. So a big change has come in for you, and you've ended an old cycle, and you're now moving on. So you're cutting the dead wood out of your life. If a relationship hasn't served you, it seems like you're cutting it out. This uh, skeleton is cutting out all the roses. So things that you thought were beautiful and wonderful in your life and are not serving you anymore, you're cutting it out and you're moving on because um, they didn't turn out to be what they were supposed to be. Because you've got this card of truth coming to light, and uh, now you realize that you know it was only an illusion, and now you have to cut it out of your life in order for you to move forward. You've got the, um, the Eight of Pentacles over here. You are now trying to focus more on your work, and you are trying to get that going um, in order for you to move forward. So you, you brought in this big change where you're leaving the past behind, or you're cutting it out rather, and you're now focusing more on your work, and maybe you are doing some studying or some kind of extra courses or extra learning in order for you to proceed um, so that you can um, you know, go up the, the career ladder. So it seems like you're focused on that. You might be working with somebody that you find attractive as well with this Eight of Pentacles, uh, and you're working very well with them. Or you could just have a very, very good colleague who is very supportive of you uh, and um, helping you out, uh, helping you achieve your, your goals. So you've got the uh, the King of Staves. You might have been dealing with a, um, well, this could be you actually, because this is uh, your card, the King of Staves uh, or the King of Rods. Uh, so you are taking your control back. Um, you know, you are taking your authority back and you are getting back on track. 
you are, you know, you are not being very emotional about the situation. You're being very, very proactive. And you're getting on top of your energy again. You're getting your power back in hand. So you've got the Ten of um, Cups over here. So it seems like you've ended an old relationship over here. So whatever happened in the past, all those past hurts and problems have now come to an end. And you've ended that cycle in these last three months. So it seems like, you know, you've, you've ended the relationship that was no longer serving you. You're cutting it out with this death card. It seems like you're not going to revive that relationship and you are going to move forward. You've got the devil card on your um, mind. So this means that you are being focused on your work and you're putting all your energies and your, all your concentrations on your work. This is a card that is ruled by Saturn or by Capricorn. So you are very, very focused on money and your career at this particular moment. Make sure it doesn't overtake your life because, you know, that can be... Uh, not so good because it can cause a lot of stress. So while you are very, very focused on your career, make sure you are taking a break and you know you are getting some kind of relief. Don't just concentrate completely on it because that is uh, unbalanced. So um, going to the future, you've got the Three of Cups over here, some sort of family celebration coming up over here. So maybe meeting family, friends, and getting together with family and friends with this Three of Cups. Some sort of um, you know celebration coming up. You've got the page of swords over here so uh this is about you know maybe there's somebody um in your vicinity that is causing a little bit of problems or chaos uh you might be dealing with bits of information that is causing a lot of problems for you um the page of swords brings in news but the news is not always the best it could be legal issues that you're dealing with this legal news that is coming in maybe you've ended this relationship and it's ended up in a divorce and you know you're getting um a legal uh, papers coming in and this is what you're dealing with at the moment you've got the king of swords so you're waiting for some kind of uh, legal um, um, decision to come through with the king of swords it's usually some judgment that you're waiting for a decision by a judge somebody making a, de a legal decision so you're you're getting receiving news about this uh, um, judgment that is coming through and around you there is a judgment that is pending at the moment and you're waiting for that to come in so uh, you are very, very upset about what happened. You went through a, quite a big financial loss uh, with the ending of this relationship. And, you know, you can see you're very, very shattered about what happened. You're feeling very unsupported and very, very isolated and very alone. And you feel like you're going through things by yourself at the moment. So what's coming in for you? You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Staves. So it looks like a new job coming in for you, some new money coming in for you, and you're going to start something brand new. Brand new cycle beginning, the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor because this is a really a, a quite a positive card, especially if you've gone through a period of negativity. And so, um, you know, luck coming your way finally. Uh, so this new job is going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of luck, and it's going to be, you know, rather unexpected. So a nice little windfall coming in over there with that Wheel of Fortune. With the Page of Staves, it looks like you're starting this new project and you're very enthusiastic and you will get information about it. There could also be some travel or learning involved as well with this new job. So you might be having training, you might have to go somewhere to get training. So um, a, a lot of uh, new things coming in and a new project that you're going to be undertaking. So the Wheel of Fortune coming in and bringing in a lot of luck and this new job coming in for you, which involves maybe retraining or, or training, uh, further training um, in order for you to make things happen. So it looks like you've gi given up that past relationship. It was no longer serving you. You've given it up. You're waiting for some kind of legal um, decision to come through and it looks like a new job coming in for you and it looks like the wheel of fortune coming in and bringing in a lot of luck uh, and a lot of progress uh, with this page of swords uh, you know a very positive energy card so maybe training uh, or um, travel coming in with that card so you've got the six of aerial which says material needs get fulfilled in a magical and unexpected way acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart so it looks like, you know, if you're going through any kind of uh, financial problems, uh, you will be sorted out. The universe is giving you that gift where you don't have to worry about money. So some kind of support coming in, uh, either way, it's going to be almost like magic the way it comes in, it says. With the Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So you've got the Ace of uh, Gabriel, so some new project starting with you. With the Page of uh, Staves, which is also the Page of... Um, uh, rods or and the ace of rods is that ace of gabriel it looks like a new project coming in for you and the door is opening for something brand new to begin and you've got the queen of gabriel over here which is basically your card which says you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract 
helpful people. So people see you as passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. And you're getting your power back, and people see you as somebody um, who is very proactive and somebody that is an authority and somebody who can take charge, and they want to give you these projects to do. So you're getting into a good phase. You're getting your confidence back, and you're getting projects and a new job coming in for you. And so you will leave the past behind and leave this old relationship and move forward. There's some sort of celebration getting together with family with this three of um, cups. So make sure you're enjoying your family and enjoying the people that love you uh, during this period. So things are going the right way for you. And um, I hope that this reading resonates with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.